Problem two, using linear programming to maximize profit. This one's about business. You're screen printing t-shirts and sweatshirts to sell at the Polk County Blues Festival and are working with the following constraints. You have at most 20 hours to make shirts. You want to spend no more than $600 on supplies. You want to have at least 50 items to sell. How many t-shirts and how many sweatshirts should you make to maximize your profit? How much is the maximum profit? Consider the information in the image at the right. One color t-shirt takes 10 minutes to make and supplies cost $4, the profit is $6. Now a three color sweatshirt takes 30 minutes to make and supplies cost $20 and you earn a profit of $20. Next, organize the information in a table. Here we have a column for t-shirts, which we can call X, sweatshirts, Y, and total. A row for minutes, well the number of minutes to create t-shirts is 10 times the number of t-shirts or 10x. For sweatshirts it's 30 times the number of sweatshirts or 30y and the total number of minutes we have to spend working on creating these shirts, 1200. Uh, recall you have at most 20 hours to make the shirts. Now the number, t-shirts are x, so x, sweatshirts are y, so y, and a total 50, because remember from the constraints above, you want to have at least 50 items to sell. And then cost, cost of production. In t-shirts, it's four times the number of t-shirts, so 4x. Sweatshirts, it's 20 times the number of sweatshirts, 20y, and a total 600, because you want to spend no more than $600 on supplies. Finally, profit. We want to maximize profit. T-shirts, x, that would be six times x, representing our profit per shirt of $6. Sweatshirts Y, 20 times Y, $20 profit per sweatshirt, and the total when we add the profits together, 6X plus 20Y. Note this is the only entry in the total column that has variables. This is the expression we want to maximize. It's the objective function, profit. Write the constraints and the objective function. So the constraints represented as inequalities 10x plus 30y is less than or equal to 1200, x plus y greater than or equal to 50, 4x plus 20y less than or equal to 600, x is greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. The objective function, p, capital P, representing profit, equals 6x plus 20y. Step 1. Graph the constraints to form the feasible region. Well, graphing the constraints, we can see the feasible region highlighted here in yellow. Remember, each point in the feasible region satisfies all of our constraints. Step two, find the coordinates of each vertex of the feasible region. Here, A is 50, 0, B, 25, 25, C, 75, 15, and D, 120, 0. Step three, evaluate P, substituting in the ordered pairs at each vertex of the feasible region. We find that P of the ordered pair corresponding to A is 300, P of B, 650, P of C, 750, and P of D is 720. So we can see the point C, the ordered pair 7515, maximizes profit. So we can state, you can maximize your profit by selling 75 t-shirts and 15 sweatshirts. The maximum profit is $750. Your turn, business. A t-shirt takes 10 minutes to make and a sweatshirt takes 20 minutes to make. You have at most 20 hours to make shirts. The supplies for a t-shirt cost $4 and the supplies for a sweatshirt cost $20. You want to spend no more than $600 on supplies. You want to have at least 50 items to sell. How many t-shirts and how many sweatshirts should you make to maximize your profit? The profit per t-shirt is $6 and the profit per sweatshirt is $20.